Okay, everybody. I've had this piano for, I think, about a couple months now. Like I got it over the summer, but um, ever since I got it, well, I also cleaned it too. But I've always wanted to look inside it. I've never really investigated what it looked like. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to disassemble. I think these two are all one piece, I'm not sure. But this here um, is a separate piece. It's basically held in by nothing. But, you know, why not give it a shot? I've never got a chance to see what it looked like, only for that part, which is pretty dark. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the camera down. Probably turning a little bit. There we go. Now I'm going to take the entire front of the piano off. And take it... Oh, okay. These latches um, are basically screwed in. You gotta tighten them because they're very loose. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is. They're they're all separate pieces. So, what we have here is oh, the front, and what else do we have? Oh, another more of these latches. What's really creepy about this is that there's fingerprints there. It just makes you wonder who was the last person who touched that. There's also dirt in there. I don't know how that got in. But anyway. I hope I didn't just flake any pieces of wood off there. And we all know that this piece comes off on its own. Because really, it's not being held in by anything. And it should be. So, I'm going to just peel it off. There we go. So here we have the front, which is pretty cool looking. Never been able to look at the splendor of it. I think this piece here is my favorite part of the piano. It just has that nice little curve to it. And this thing here allows you to keep the piano lid open about just that much. That's what that mark is right there, that black one. That's from the little hammer thing. Now, let's take a look at this. Oh, okay. I didn't realize how rotten looking the hammers were. Oh my god. I see that. Look how rotten they are. One still has a little bit of color on it, but the rest of them are just kind of um, decaying. The fabric down here, on which they rest on, is also rotting. I bet you a million dollars. That piece of fabric right there used to look like that. But now, 
it is completely rotted out. Oh, let's take a look at the pegs. Um, I don't see any of them damaged, but you can tell that there's some rust. A lot of rust going on there. One of the straps in there are kind of kinked sideways. And, yeah. So, obviously this piano has a lot of age in it. It looks like nothing has been done to it. I'm pretty sure when it was brand new, that's what the finish used to look like. Nice and shiny. And I'm pretty sure it didn't look all cracked and brittle looking. Like right here you can easily tell that there's some cracking going on. But anyway, like this is the first time I've ever done this so I've never really gotten a chance to look at it on the inside back of course. Now, some of the pieces are rubbing off against each other. Some of these push uh, hammers here are kind of pushed in a little bit more than others. So it's kind of, um, kind of crooked and kind of uneven, if you will. Don't know where that is. the the tuning tuning dates on here 95 to 97 to 99 and last time it, it was uh, tuned was on January the 2nd so this thing hasn't been tuned I think I think nine years yeah, yeah it's been nine years since it was tuned I believe these here are the little rods that keeps the pieces together. They're basically just screwed into the wood and you just lift them up to take each piece out. These ones are very loose. I have to tighten them. You can see the nameplate, Sherlock Manning. This one is just flopping around. So, I'm going to try to play a little tune. I've never played on this piano without the entire front taken off. So, I wonder what that would sound like. But I'm surprised, even though with all this rotting and rust that's going on, I'm surprised that none of the strings are rotted out. If they were would have heard one snap by now or seen one but all the strings are there they haven't snapped yet Woo! oh cool hello <clears throat> now that is cool I've always wanted to do that oops how nice that wood is. Nice and dark. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the original finish. I think it's cherry wood. Okay, so I'm gonna play a little tune. I gotta take my foot off the pedal because it's creeping me out with the echoing. So I'm gonna try to play just a tiny little tune, see what it sounds like. So I need two feet for this.
very nice. I like how it has a lot of echo in it. Oh. Um, there's a hole there and a hole there and some of the wood is broken there. That's where the piano lid would have been screwed down. But unfortunately, the piano bench was more important and they took the screws out and they're using it in the piano bench. Well, the past owners did that, not me. So that's why the lid keeps coming off like that and it's not supposed to. Makes me wonder, how do you put the screws in there anyway? That I'm not sure of. But as you can see, this piano is fully functional. It still works. And really, it's just a lot, a lot of um, moisture damage or something has been done to this. But I'm surprised it's still still functioning and playable in this condition. I'm going to grab a Lysol cloth and I'm going to wipe off one of these hammers and just see what will happen. I'm hoping that when I get a lot of money soon, I'd like to probably restore all these hammers. Or better yet, just leave them alone. Keeps the value of the piano. Don't want to disturb the finish or anything. But only one hammer hasn't been rotted out yet. And those two. That's what it looks like if you lift one of the keys out. I can't pull it out because it's attached to one of those pegs down there. I'm just going to leave it the hell alone. Yeah, all this yellow gunk is what I've been seeing off of these black keys and these keys right here. But, yeah, if you, if you can see, a lot of crap is coming off. Whoops. How many keys is this? It's a 88 key piano. Okay, so it's not a, a 71 key piano or anything like that. There is such thing as um, pianos that have um, a lesser number of keys. Retro, retro chat is the person who has a piano. I think it's a Warlitzer, and I think it's a 73 note piano. I'm not sure. But yeah, you, you can see that, just wiping that off, these are filthy. Wiping these hammers, they're pretty much done for, they're, they're rawed out. So yeah, that's the piano right there. Oh, and there's the model number engraved. It says 105692. That's the model number of this piano. But yeah, I'm very happy that I took those apart to further investigate what it has underneath. Just wiping all that crap off. This is what it shows. Beautiful, beautiful wood. I love it. All hidden away from the eyes.